Welcome to the second video in our series where we walk you through everything you need to do to prepare for release date and beyond. If you followed our previous video, you should have a cohesive brand identity. You will have set your music to be distributed by a distribution company like Rootnote with a release date and time, and you should have prepared a host of content, competitions and events to push out social media and engage with your fans over the lead up to your release. So if you haven't seen our first video where we cover all of that, definitely go back and check it first. And today we're going to show you what you need to prepare for and do on the day of release to get as many people as possible listening to your tracks. So let's get started. So you spent the weeks leading up to the release building the suspense, teasing your content and engaging your audience in various ways. And now is the time to release the tension by sharing what you've made. One. If you've distributed through RootNote, you will have been able to set a specific time for your release to go live, which will allow you to schedule posts across social media announcing the release. These announcements could just be a video of yourself or a photo holding an out now sign. Two, make sure you've updated your website or blog and social bios and so on with a link to your release and update your banners at the top of your social media pages so your artwork is immediately visible. You could even go live for a countdown to your music's release, you don't want any of your fans to miss it. 3. Check the release is correct everywhere and upload it to all the right services with the correct metadata. 4. And make your new release your artist's pick on Spotify. This means that anyone that visits your Spotify profile will see the release immediately. 5. Be online all day. That doesn't mean being glued to your phone, you can schedule social media posts throughout the day to continue the momentum of the release. And keep an eye on your plays too. Post a thank you when you hit a milestone that you're proud of. Six, collect links in one landing page to make it super easy for fans to find your website and follow you on social media and play your music on whichever streaming service that they use. Push FM's free digital marketing tools do include handy smart links that put all of your assets and sites in one place and pre-saves that automatically save your release to your fans' libraries on release day. So definitely check out their tools. If you want people to discover and stream your music, you're going to have to do more than simply send it out into the world, despite how easy it is to release music through distributors like RootNote. Whether you're putting out a single, an EP or an album, you should use all the marketing tools at your disposal. Are you worried that you don't have enough fans? That's okay. You can't magic new ones out of thin air, so start smaller. When you're an independent artist, you're unlikely to have a huge fan base, especially before your first release. So, this is when your local bubble is key to pushing your music. Send your track out on your personal profiles and message it personally to your family and friends too. This encourages them to like it, share it, listen to it, all of that. Ask them to share it everywhere that they can. Their support and encouragement will also give your self-confidence a boost too. The key to a successful release is getting it in the right places and not losing momentum once it's there. There are no rules that apply to all acts, but we're here with some great general advice that is just good to follow. You should have set up pre-saves for your release so that the tracks will be added to your fans' liked songs immediately. We have a video talking through exactly what to do in the lead up to release day, so you're ready big day. Check it out in the description below. In the evening, play your music live. Release day is rolling by, so why not keep the momentum going into the evening and have a listening party? Go live on socials or host a private Zoom or Discord and maybe even perform a song or two from the release too. You can play a DJ set or even just host a Q&A. Another option is a release party at a local venue or at your home. If you've built up a strong live presence with a lot of local fans, this would be the perfect way to launch your new release. You can set up a table to sell merchandise and display a Spotify QR code which people can scan to follow your artist page and have a list form where people can sign up to your mailing list too. In conclusion, make a checklist of what you want to achieve on the day that your music comes out. As the day goes by, you can tick things off and see what works and what doesn't for next time. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Next, check out our video explaining how to keep the momentum going after release day. So look for the links below. So make sure that you subscribe to the RootNote channel so you don't miss any videos and hit the notification bell to be told when the last video for this series comes out. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and a share with your friends to help with their upcoming releases. Finally, I'm going to hand over to Gio to lead you through the last section which is all about what to do after your release date.